hi it's been a minute i've tried to film this video like five fucking times i'm not even exaggerating the universe just does not want me to film this video so we're trying one more fucking time it's a cute look i really wanted to upload this earlier i have a lot of valentine's day shit i want to upload i took a little break from youtube i haven't uploaded anything in i think like two months because i don't know i feel like youtube just hasn't been showing anybody my videos and i don't know i just got really demoralized i tried to start doing like tutorials on tiktok because it's easier it takes a lot less work but i just fucking hate tiktok i think the less time i spend on that app the better i feel so i'm gonna give this one more go this look is pretty easy in terms of like what you need like how many products and how many steps you just need two eyeshadow colors so i'll show you the colors but you can really do this with any two colors i feel like pink and orange would be like a cute vibe or you could do like green and blue or green and pink that'd be cute you just need two colors that go well together so all the colors that i'm going to use are from sugar pill i'm using the sugar pill fun size palette so i'm going to use these two colors 8-bit and player one and i'm also going to use underneath player one i'm going to use valoria but i feel like this color and the blue color kind of blend together so i'm going to add the player one on top of this one but we'll get to that i'm going to put on my primer and i'm going to use the color pop pretty fresh foundation which i finally got a new one of So I got this giant fucking phone with over a terabyte of storage on it because I kept running out of storage. And the camera on the iPhone 13 Pro Max or whatever the fuck this phone is called, it's just like incompatible with Final Cut Pro. Every time I upload or import a clip, it's like way overexposed. And this is one of the reasons that um, the last time that I filmed this, it failed. I found a way to fix the overexposure, but what it does is it reduces the quality. So instead, I'm filming this not on HDR, and that kind of reduces the quality too, but it's like not as bad as that. And it just makes me mad because this phone was so expensive, and I'm like, I didn't have to get it, but I was tired of running out of storage. And <laughs> Final Cut Pro is a fucking Apple product too. Like, they should be compatible, and it's just like not. So fuck you, Apple. But yeah, like I said, I kind of just really fucking hate TikTok. Um, TikTok also doesn't show anybody my videos because most of the followers I have on there have followed me for content I don't make anymore. And because of that, like they don't interact with like anything I post. Also, um, I got a new desk. You can kind of see it. It's super cute. I got a new desk because I'm starting an Etsy shop for my art. If you don't follow my art account, you, you should if you want to. I'll put it up here somewhere. This is something I've been wanting to do for like over a year. So I'm really, really excited. I'm learning how to make stickers and I've kind of figured it out, but I want to experiment with some different sticker papers so as soon as i have that down and i get all my designs i'm redrawing them in procreate because it's a lot easier to print them out as prints because i'm selling prints and stickers there will be more things but to start i'm just going to stick with prints and stickers and tattoo tickets will be available too but yeah i've just been really busy with that and i got a boob job <laughs> they look good i think they're not too big this is what I look like. I am wearing a bra, but it's not a push-up bra. I haven't said that on YouTube yet. So yeah, I got a boob job and I will do a video all about that. I was gonna vlog the whole thing, but I ended up just kind of giving up on that. So I'll have some footage from that and then the rest will be just like me talking to you guys on here about it. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm pretty much completely healed. It went really, really well. My doctor's a wizard and I will talk all about that in that video. All right, moving on to brows. Just as usual, I'll do my little outline first and I fill it in. So I got the cutest fucking cup from Starbucks. Look at this. Do you guys think if I put my business email back up, I'll get harassed again? So I'm gonna be using my fluffy brush. So the first color I'm gonna use is my Valoria from Sugar Pill. I'm gonna put that right in my, kind of my inner corner. So 
so just like that i'm kind of just like tapping my brush and pushing the product in there because of the shape of my eyes there's like a little section that doesn't want the product but once you get it in there just kind of gently blend it out and up and as you do each color just kind of check in the mirror to make sure that they're even i know that's easier said than done the evening not the checking. So that looks pretty even to me. And I'm just gonna use that same brush and go in with my next color. I did wet my brush off. My next color is 8-Bit from the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. Now I'm gonna put this one next to this one. And the shape that we're kind of creating here is an arc that goes like this. So I'm not going like completely to the end of my eye. I'm gonna put this right up here. And I don't know if you guys will really be able to tell the difference. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> But that's why I'm gonna put that darker purple over the top, just to make the purple really stand out. I just wanted to have like a nice transition color. And you're gonna repeat with your first color. So like I said, you don't have to do these two colors. I know this one's like sold out. Any two colors should work. Now I'm gonna take my tapered, but yeah, it's still pretty fluffy brush and go in with that darker purple color. And the point of this is just to really be able to see the two different colors. Cause like I said, these ones do kind of blend together. So if your colors are already looking great, you don't really have to do this. And I'm just blending that transition. So the next step is to do our eyeliner. And I'm using my fave, the Essence Super Precise. Once your eyeliner is totally dry, I put all my rings on. I am uh, really into wearing rings lately. I'm going to do a little double wing and I'm gonna do inner corner liner. And the nice thing about this look is that the eyeshadow is done. We don't have to do eyeshadow on the bottom unless you want to. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of my liner and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go underneath. And I'm not gonna get it in my hair. I am going to do a little highlight on my inner corner. I'm just going to use my Sugar Pill Ice Angel. And I'm going to top that with my Fenty Diamond Balm. I saw that Fenty is going to Ulta now, you guys. I feel like that might be the end for Sephora. Not for me though. I'm going to keep spending all my money there, even though I don't work there anymore and don't get the discount. And now I'm going to do my inner corner liner. And I have just been using my essence liner for this. I'll just try and like wipe off as much excess as I can. And maybe I will actually get this on camera. I don't know. I'm gonna put on my lashes. I just started wearing this new pair because finally the Miss Fury ones I was wearing did not work anymore. I think those lasted like four months. So this one is Electra and they look pretty similar, but I like the Miss Fury a little more because they are more full. So I'm probably just gonna buy like a bunch of those because seriously, four fucking months for a pair of lashes that cost I think eight bucks. And now, unfortunately, we're gonna do lower lashes. It will look very cute. It will be very worth it. But oh my God, these are such a pain in the ass to put on, especially with nails. I think since I'm gonna avoid doing that for as long as possible, I'm gonna do my contour real fast and my highlight. I have been using this little Essence Duo lately and I really like it. This is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. So I'm just taking my little slanted contour brush and I'm using the darker shade.
when I do contour, I kind of put it on my cheekbone instead of underneath. Because if I was gonna do this underneath, it would be way down here and I don't want to do that. I want to lift my cheeks. And then for my highlight, I'm doing the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb again. I love this stuff so much. Since I can't avoid it anymore, I'm gonna put on these lashes. I don't know where I got these. They're kind of just little cuts that I've made to previous lashes I've had, but it's just little pieces of lash like that. And I'm gonna put some glue on every single one of these and put it on my face. And it is going to take a million years, but it's okay because it's gonna look cute as fuck. I don't wait as long with the glue with these because the lash is so light, it doesn't need a lot to stick. It's not gonna fall off like your top lashes would. Putting lashes on with nails is an extreme sport. Ugh, such an ordeal, but I look so cute. I look like I have little pastel spiders on my face and I love it. So we only have a couple more steps. We are almost done. I'm gonna put on my black lipstick. This is Sleepwalker from Black Moon Cosmetics, obviously, because it's the best one ever. All right, you guys, the last step, well, two steps, is to put on mascara. I always wait until the very end to put mascara on just so that I make sure my lashes are completely dry. So I'm just using the Urban Decay Perversion. And the very last step is a quick spray of the Milk Setting Spray. I don't know if this spray is any good. Everyone says it's good. I feel like it might be a placebo effect, but I think it's okay. It just does squirt out really, really far, so you wanna hold it back. And this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. I hope I can actually edit this and post it. What a concept, right? Let me know what videos you wanna see from me. A lot of people requested vlogs. I've never done a vlog. If you guys wanna see me sit around my house and edit and draw and eat potato chips, let me know. Okay, bye.